Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Cunningham, and welcome back to the Overwatch League Roundup. Wing Conditions, Paris Eternal Edition. So there's going to be a big theme to this Wing Conditions, and it's about DPS. So, Paris Eternal, they haven't got a bad schedule, but they've not got a good schedule either. So, we look at where they are right now. They are 16th. They are a few places away from those players. They are on an 8 and 13 record, equal with the Valiant Outlaws and Uprising. But a minus 17 differential puts them on the back foot slightly. Meaning they're going to have to get some pretty hefty wins in this stage to try and make it to those players. Talking of this stage, Paris Eternal will kick off their stage against the Houston Outlaws. Again, as I said in a previous video, which was regarding the Outlaws, this is a must win. It's an absolute must win for both teams. Paris Eternal even more so. And whoever, whoever loses this, I don't think is going to make it. It's as simple as that. Especially if Paris don't win it. Especially if Paris don't win it. Um, it's just unbelievably, it's a must win. In my opinion, actually, they must go 2-0 in week one. And that means beating the Los Angeles Valiant. Yes, the two resurgent teams in the league right now. Uh, Paris must get, must get wins against both of them. It's as simple as that. And do I see that happening is the question here. I don't know. Because Paris are very, very inconsistent. Um, we looked at the start of the season at this team and we thought, it's a really European team, right? It's got a European roster. It's looks, it's through and through European. So they're going to be fantastic at goats, and they were bad. They they weren't good at all. So they disappointed in that respect. And if they hadn't, they would have been in a position where they wouldn't have had to worry too much. But moving into a new meta, triple two, where DPS are going to be highlighted, it's time for the DPS of the Paris Eternal to step up. And if they do this against the Houston Outlaws and the Los Angeles Valiant, then by Joe, they can get the wins. But we need to see it happen. In week two, they'll play the New York Excelsior and the Atlanta Rain. New York Excelsior, well, you're just going to have to sweep that one to the side and say, GG's. But um, against the Atlanta Rain, this is a must-win match again, because this is one of those teams you want to take that spot from. Again... A few of these teams, just like the, uh, the the upper half of the league, I'm trying to talk properly, a lot of these teams are playing each other. And so it puts it puts the cards in the hands of the teams that are playing, right? The cards are in Paris Eternal's hands because they're playing everyone around them. And if they win the games, they'll get to the play-ins. But I question Paris's ability to do so. Paris will then go up against the Philadelphia Fusion in week three. Now, this is an interesting one because ah, yeah, yeah. they might have to win this one. Depending on previous results, they might have to win this one and they might not have to win this one. The problem is, if you look at their week four, they have to play the Shanghai Dragons and the Washington Justice. Well, the Washington Justice, if you can't beat the Washington Justice, as I've been saying all along, you don't deserve to go to the play-ins anyway. So, if you can't beat the Washington Justice, your season ends there. But, Shanghai Dragons or Philadelphia Fusion, which do I think is more winnable? Philadelphia Fusion, without a doubt. So, do I, do I like, realistically see Paris Eternal going 5-2 and two at this stage? No. In all honesty, I don't. I don't think the team synergy is there. I don't think the, that click is there compared to teams like the Valiant have just clicked and Houston and stuff like that. I don't think it's there. Um, maybe they've done something between stages to change that. But they need to beat the Fusion or the XL or the Shanghai Dragons in order to give themselves a chance, I think. Because I don't think a 4-3 and three record in their current position is going to get them to the playoffs. So, yes. It's a difficult one for the Paris Eternal. And... You look at their roster, they've got Soon, we all know about Soon, we know how good he can be. Nico, Danya, and Shadowburn. These guys need to step up now, they need to they need to show what they can do. Soon needs to go back on the Widow, and the heroes he's well known for, he needs to pop off. Because that's what Paris Eternal need right now. 
Their tank line may not be the best. Ben Best, Finzi, and LH Cloudy. Their support line... Their support line is not really bad. It's not really good. It will get them there. But it's just time for those DPS now to step up and show us what we've been missing out on on all sort of season. That's what we need to see from the Paris Eternal. But, Paris, you can do it. You just need to show us you can do it. And I know that's, I know that's like, it sounds silly, but that's what I mean. Prove, Paris, that you deserve to be there. And you'll make it. That's, that's as simple as that. Just prove to us you deserve to be in those planes. That's the thing we need to see from the Paris Eternal on stage 4. But, those were your win conditions for the Paris Eternal. It's now getting very, very low in the league. Next up, we will look at the Boston Uprising. They are the last team on the 8 and 13 record. They have a minus 18 differential. It's going to be tough, and it's going to be very similar to this one that I did for Paris. But it's doable. The last four teams in the league are up over the next few days. Two a day. Yes, two a day. Um, but this... I'm going to leave this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.